<laughs> A lot of men were locked in here. Left to the pit, only restrained by the fear of falling. The sight of them makes me wonder if their resistance was even worth it in the end. You're standing amidst their bodies with nothing but silence for your answer. What do you think? These must be Sebastian's remains. Curious. The priest said he was the last to die. Said he shot himself when hope ran out. But someone stole this fella's head in with a pike. This was no romantic suicide. This was bloody murder. Plus, there's no ghost tie. And look, the mark from before. No ghost tie. So why did he not pale and become a spectre like the rest? Sebastian told Helen a story. His prominent chest wound was part of it. But it's a fiction. He spun her a lie. I'm starting to doubt the lieutenant's ghost. I think it's an effigy of Sebastian sent to get close to Helen. Maybe even to Pennington. Not a spectre. Something more elaborate. But what? And why? Sebastian is a doll. Stuffed with stolen memory made by whatever lurks down here. It's leeching Helen's essence. You must tell her. Whatever about Helen. First we need to find the doll maker.
To me. stink has long since gone, but I swear I smell it anyway. Getting close. Shelter, if you need a fire to warm you up. They left me here to rot. They'll not have me. These chains, an echo, I think. 
I sense the vivid echo of a ghost's memory. Pennington's presence gives it life. That woman he jailed. Could this be all her? Her anger that binds it all. Remember the ghost who manifested out of the beast? Kate dear wet herself. She called her Deborah. Another ghost channeling the wrath of lesser spectres. Can't be a coincidence. Debra, right? Pennington had you arrested and clapped you in chains. A broken bubble locked away, forgotten. Down in the dark, lift the heavy chains from her. <laughs> if we do, will you talk with us? Strike weakened the chains. Free her! Get us next time. Her last strike weakened the chains. Free her! I can see the weaker links. It's coming up. The chains are coming undone. This is your chance. Red. 
guidance of the weakness. Her last strike weakened the chains. Free her! So close. I'll destroy you! Weaker links. You pay for this! You are all paid! Bad timing. Our last strike weakened the chains. Free her! Shake, this is useless! I can see the weaker links.
and waiting. Thank you. It's over. Go in peace. No peace. No pardon. Naught but darkness and decay. No. All this must stop and you must stop it. Dark decay and the maddest words of the worst of men. Whose words? Pennington's? When the maddening silence becomes the darkest night, 
The faintest voice is welcome as the dawn. Deborah. enough minds for a lifetime. Can we go now? What was that thing? A puppeteer. Every dead thing we've met was controlled by its anguish. Sebastian especially. The miners were wronged. But the woman Pennington locked up is at the root of it all. So what now? Pennington had Deborah locked up screaming. When she was dead, he ignored her. He's a disgrace. But Helen Priest is enthralled to a trickster spirit. She can't be trusted either. Well, eventually, we'll get to take sides. <laughs> What is it? The rush after the fight. It'll pass. It's Sebastian, isn't it? You know I'm me, right? That I'm no puppet. Aye. Do you, though? Aye. My head may say different, but I know it in my heart.
fresh air. At last. You did well down there, young man. Thank you, Master. It is justice. Justice long denied. Wait! Thought you'd been killed in the mines. Soon will all lie dead in the mines. Neither one more word, nor a move from you. The mines are cleansed of their madness. Which is more than I can say for this room. You banished the thing in a pit. Truly. It's gone. Aye. The puppeteer is no more. The siege is lifted. Get excited. You're still up to your neck and shite. You've still to answer for what you did, and what you did not. I do not answer to civilians, nor to mutineers. You will answer to the dead. Once a woman in chains cried out and you did not listen. This is why you're cursed. Confess. Your future, and the future of many, depends on it. I'll confess there is no future. I'll confess I led us here to make our final stand. And we still stand. To that I'll confess, and claim the credit. We fall one by one. Then we weep, we rage, but we stay loyal and true. Even the widows must stay true. In fear you dither while folk die. Soldiers will not long stay loyal to a coward. I do not fear a future already written. The die is cast. I dither not. I hold. I hold and watch the end unfold. There's more to this. An older guilt, a deeper fear. Captain, why did you send Sebastian Priest down the mine? I knew quarantine would be trying. A competent commander was required to keep order, keep them alive long enough to recover. I chose my lieutenant. I erred. He was not competent. All died. Your husband was no hero, Mrs. Priest. You murdered him and now you take his honour too. Another nail in your well-earned coffin, Captain. So, Helen, the thing is... Not now. She's not ready. We return with answers to find you in full mutiny. Why now, Helen? Sebastian returned, disturbed. I thought he'd left you dead in the mines. Your mission had failed. I could no longer wait. You may be to blame for the tragedy in the mines, Pennington, or you may not. But the puppeteer wanted you dead. Some years back, you accused a local woman of witchcraft. You locked her up. The puppeteer was quite angry about that. At last the die stopped rolling and my number has come up. I'll tell it now. I'll tell it all. You accused a woman of witchcraft. If it were not slander, why can you not face her? There was no slander. It was true. She was corrupt. She was evil. And she was a school teacher. Someone had to think of the children. It's horse shit, but he seems to believe it. We're getting closer to the truth. 
You clapped her in irons and threw her in jail. You took her humanity. You recognised her in the puppeteer, didn't you? I'm sorry, puppeteer? That's what was in the minds, wasn't it? And you knew, didn't you? How long? For how long have you known? What I know and you do not would fill a library. Helen is misguided. Under Sebastian's malign influence, she will remain so. Yet Pennington is little better. Which way do you lean? I have faith in Helen Priest. Step down, Captain. Perhaps you may begin to wash your guilt away. Do what you must, and face the consequences. Cast the die. I will. Right. No more lies. No more hate. And no more mutiny. You mean well, but no good can come of it. The puppeteer sent the captain spectres. It also sent an unwitting assassin. You. Helen Priest. The ghost by your side is not your husband. It's a husk, a sham, an elaborate fake. Your beloved Lieutenant Priest was no hero. He was the tyrant. His victims dead in the mines tell the story. I am Sebastian Priest. I love my wife. I want her safe. You're a scarecrow. Built from Helen's idealized memories of the man she loved, then sent to trick her into mutiny. Without the puppeteer, the veneer will fade. Soon you'll be a spectre once more. I loved you, so... I'm not sure I understand what just happened. But you, Ellen Price, are under arrest. You're still a prick. For your trouble. Loving him, right or wrong, made me who I am. How much of you is made from loving your man? Probably not enough. Dawn, at last. Looks like the nightmare's curse is lifted here. Job done. <laughs> 